Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. This is for all Virgos, so welcome to my channel. If you are new, please hit like, share, and subscribe uh, if you enjoy this reading. And thank you to everyone for all of you who have subscribed. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video where you click on that link and that will take you to my booking site where I do one hour or 30 minute phone calls. Okay, so we're going to take a look at your person, the past energy, the present, and then the future. Virgo. Okay, let's get some love messages here. The past. Hmm. So the two of cups, the ten of wands, and the six of wands. Looks like you and your person somehow found some common ground, maybe started a romantic relationship um, or a friendship that was leading to love. Wow. Wedding. Situation involves marriage. Uh, finances and career playing a factor in this relationship mostly on your person's side, but it could be both. Um, I see like a real burden, a struggle that was being carried, but a desire to kind of like have it all, be a winner in the relationship. Somebody that you maybe were connecting with um, in the past, Perhaps with the Six of Wands, finances and career really trying to be like on top or trying to get themselves in a position where um, they feel victorious or looking for recognition. This can be a card of good news. Let's take a look at this Two of Cups. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. So <laughs> I feel like your person connecting with you definitely felt that connection with you but also uh had an independent streak okay maybe financial independence um when you met this person might have been well off financially um or was connecting with you the two of cups always feels to me like like a new kind of beginning, you know, like the Ace of Cups shows up and then the Two of Cups where two people connect um, and find love together, but the relationship had not really blossomed because um, it feels like your person, you know, there was marriage on the table or um, talk about it or uh, progression possibly leading to that, but it feels like your person was carrying a really heavy burden on their back or just, the sense of being physically exhausted a lot of the time or under a lot of stress or just wasn't able to bring something to fruition with you because of maybe work or just physical labor or just being exhausted. Let me take a look at this Ten of Wands and see. Oh yeah, the Knight of Cups. So working for your love. I do feel like, hmm, for some of you, you know, I mean, it's very possible for some of you that this person was working really hard to be in a position um, to offer marriage or some type of commitment or offer their cup of love, you know. Um, they also, for some of you, there might have been, it, it kind of feels like, you know, oh yeah, I, trying to offer their love, but having a lot of pressure or burdens. Let's take a look at this Six of Wands. Okay, the Chariot. Yeah, this, wow, it looks really positive in the past. Um, it feels like there was intention here with both of you to take action and move things to the next level. Um, to, uh, it, it feels like in the past your person truly wanted to, that Chariot energy, that's Cancer energy, to try and like make a, a change maybe travel um, or come towards you. You know, I feel like this person truly did have it in their heart that they wanted to evolve this relationship to the next level or even get to a position where, you know, you guys could even enter into marriage, okay? Um, so I don't know if you guys are not together, 
now i'm not seeing anything really negative i feel like even if you're not together this person in the past that still held true for them okay um maybe you guys are still together it just feels like in the past this still held true it feels like they really wanted to like they could see it on the horizon with you in the past but they weren't able to i guess i want to say make it happen because of stresses or burdens of maybe finances and their and career too many responsibilities back then okay so let's take a look and see what the energy is right now okay attraction wow true love Virgo, you know, for some of you, this <clears throat> could have been a past relationship, or this just could be somebody that you were dating in the past. So, you know, you, it really just depends. I mean, I can't exactly pinpoint. All I can tell you is on the, on the uh, table here, we have the chariot, cancer, the tower is a Scorpio card. The fool is Aquarius. Um, so if that resonates for you, great. But I see your person here taking a leap of faith with you. This is going to be shocking because the Ten of Pentacles is here. This person is ready to get into some kind of committed relationship. Look, here's the sun. It's very positive energy coming out into the open. The fool even traveling or being able to do something. You know, this person is crazy attracted to you, Virgo, and like this is a true love connection. I feel like this person's just going to come out of the blue here, um, steady and stable. That Ten of Pentacles energy is like security, safety, and trust. Let's take a look here. So the sun would be Leo energy as well. Um, self-love unconditional love this person's like taking a major leap of faith look the knight of pentacles here coming in with a solid offer this is going to shock you virgo this is just not something that you're expecting from this person whether this is a past person or this was somebody that you've just been casually seeing or connecting with wow <laughs> let's take a look at this ten of pentacles Okay, the magician, wow, ready to manifest something. So now we have Gemini and Virgo energy. All these major arcanas, <clears throat> excuse me, oh my gosh, they speak strong energy for me here. I just want to clarify this magician. Okay, yeah, this person is like, I just heard that song, Stand Back from Stevie Nicks. <laughs> this person's like, very persistent will be very persistent with you let's take a look at this sun wow the high priestess yeah they're coming out with a secret and it is going to shock you and i feel like this person has been withholding and and they're coming to reveal some secrets to you and to like open open up look that's the sun that's opening up that's like either going public or just telling you what they've been thinking and feeling and their secret is they want to move towards you they want to start have this fresh new beginning with you okay go on this adventure with you and it's just very persistent energy and what's going to shock you is them coming in with this knight of pentacles energy that's the best night you could get you know the the knight of cups is great because of the love but the knight of pentacles like he comes in with or he or she comes in with this like I am like as a reliable person and you know will be I'm making this offer for the long term for us you know and you know this person does kind of have boundaries you know they they do a little bit hold back but the nine is you know about accomplishment and I feel like this person with this nine of wands energy is coming in with like persistence like they're not going to take no for an answer <laughs> and we'll just keep being persistent with you now let oh my gosh your reading is so good Virgo let's take a look here at the future energy you deserve love you are lovable and staying optimistic about love positive thinking and faith brings romance mm. so i feel like this person like they think 
truly that you are the most lovable, most beautiful, most adorable, handsome person they have ever met or ever known. And they're very positive about your relationship going forward in the future. They may even tell you at some point that you are so lovable and so cute and just they want to squish you, squishy, squishy kisses <laughs> and uh, touching and, and hugging and like physical acts of affection uh, coming in in the future here with this person towards you. Um, very optimistic, being faithful. Look at this, the eight of wands. So this is like... I have sometimes I look at the eight of wands. I'm like, oh, this is love bomb city and not in a negative way. This is like this person um, just on top of you constantly moving forward. You know, maybe some of you are like, oh, no, don't be that way. But it, it feels like, you know, this is Cupid's arrows. This is like making a huge change, but really fast. It could be travel, um, you know, like action, taking action with with like each one is an ace of wands which is like feeling inspired you know and an urge to create or or <laughs> procreate for some of you um a lot of sex going on here in the future um they just seem like they can't get enough of you there's an energy of like um they're bringing you some positive news and look here's the ace of cups so if you guys were just kind of in the past like things were on hold because they had stuff going on. It feels like going forward, like that love blossoms again, okay? Um, or there's the, the emotions or the feelings, okay? Um, the Seven of Cups is here. And so this person, it feels like, based on the other cards in the reading, that this person is in like fantasy land about you <laughs> in the future. We'll be going like in the future. I, I just feel like you're... Like they have you in their in their dreams or their fantasies about you. Oh my goodness. They just dream and think of all that could be. And there's so much that they feel like they still don't know about you and they want to know more. With that ghost. Do you see the ghost? It's like they're so curious. There's so much more to know. Let's take a look at this eight of wands. What is this news coming in with this person? Oh, judgment <laughs> wow it's like i feel like this person is going to like you say something because this is the karma card so it kind of feels like this person's like finally making a decision here you know like this person is going to tell you they've had a wake-up call about you um, I don't know if you did anything or like if something happened that would cause them to be this way, but it feels like the message that they, some of the messages that the things they tell you will be like they have clarity. Um, you know, they've made a decision that they want to start this journey. They want to like reveal, they want to move forward with you. Um, they're in this position of like, you know, they know their life purpose. They know what they need to do. This is like revelation opening up. Um, revealing everything to you and show me this ace of cups this is like a blessing in disguise coming like at first you're going to be shocked but then it's like it feels like um they really they truly like they come in with a very strong solid offer but there's no cup energy here the cup energy comes here so I, in the future so i feel like in the present it's going to be more like the basics like i have to reveal i want to take this journey with you and make this offer to you um or maybe give you some a gift of some sort um maybe ask you out to dinner or try to like move things forward in a very practical way but going forward i feel like they really re start revealing how they feel about you okay in the future here oops sorry yeah the ten of pentacles again so it's basically like yes the reason why i want to have this you know, them saying to you, the reason why I want to have this solid future with you is because you're a blessing in my life, because I have such feelings, you know, for you. Um, I, I feel like they might say to you that they felt let down in the past, maybe by others, or they were just depressed, or they had a sense of disappointment, and a lot of that held back, or they just didn't feel like they could make 
things happen here. Very emotional type of <clears throat> communication and energy with this person, okay? Could even be proposal of marriage or a new baby or just getting the relationship off the ground. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Okay, King of Swords. So somebody here, some of you Virgos could be connecting with Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, um, male or female, but more on the masculine side. But this King of Swords, I mean, he's very intentional. He knows what he wants and he's very strategic, right? So, you know, he's determined to get clarity about you as it sits on the seven of cups here of like what's going on what are you doing like are you f i just saw that remember that video of that little boy who came back from the dentist and then he was like is this real life like this person's in such fantasy land and the king of swords doesn't usually go there the king of swords is not dreamy but something about you is triggering this person to be in like dreamland with you let me just take check this um judgment card here oh yeah eight of pentacles work 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 putting in the effort consistency that's what you want virgo but you also want the love you know but you want the safety and the security and i feel like this person is going to come in with this the question is is it going to last right that's i know some of you uh, are questioning that I hear some of you saying okay yeah I do want that but you know it's gonna last and you know that remains to be seen but I do feel like this person is coming in with a solid offer and it's gonna like shock you it's gonna be like you're not even gonna expect it if you're in separation with this person um that might shock some of you even more <laughs> so let's take a look at the love messages here i just cannot shuffle today i don't know what's going on with me okay i hope you're happy for me <laughs> i left you before you could leave me okay that might have happened in the past for some of you if you're in separation i don't know that they intentionally tried to leave you i just think that they did have some financial struggles i mean a lot of people did or maybe when you met you know, they were at the Nine of Pentacles. They were trying to get to the Ten. They weren't fully financially secure. Um, they had some money, perhaps, but they and they were okay, but they, they weren't where they wanted to be. This person, um, the Ten of Pentacles can represent real estate, buying a home. Um, this person may be telling you that uh, either they want to buy a home with you or, you know, get a place together. Um, or coming in and, and telling you they sold their home and they have this money now, you know, um, it feels mostly like there was some struggle. I feel like this person was between, you know, commit, getting into a commitment and then getting their finances together. So they may have pulled away to take care of that. There is, so they do feel like they wish that they treated you better. Um, but it seems like they may have had to do what they had to do. Okay, interference, external party is intruding on this relationship. And I feel like that was their financial issues and their work, okay? Oh yeah, this friendship is leading to more. So for some of you, this did kind of start out as like a non-committal romance or a connection where it was like friends and lovers, like a little bit of that, but not like full-fledged kind of energy between the two of you for some of you i do feel like this is someone that you were just recently dating or that you were dating you know for some it could be recent for some it could have been at you know at some point in the past and for others it, it could be that this is someone from long ago from your past um but i know some of you are past that energy so you know if that's the case that's the case but it's a general reading and if, if you want to get a personal reading there's a link in the description box so you can get more clarity on this reading let's get a charm okay virgo oh all right so we've got a parrot parrot on a perch here well to me it looks like a parrot yeah it's a parrot i just heard the name sam like toucan sam they're saying the name sam 
okay, or the initials SAM, MAS, ASM, MA, AM, however you want to switch it. Um, and again, with this Christmas tree, this Christmas tree keeps showing up in these charm readings and I'm shuffling them. So something here might be occurring around Christmas or you guys met around Christmas, okay? Holiday season, we'll say. Um, a lot of this could be showing up around this time. Somebody here might actually have a parrot or um, some kind of a bird, one of those tropical birds, okay? And then we have the teapot again. This actually was in yesterday's reading. And um, if you got, I think if you got the teapot yesterday, this is your reading again, okay? Um, I'm feeling like England or very formal, very formal energy. Maybe you guys go and get matcha tea or something or someone likes that matcha tea or there's like, you have a teapot brewing or water or coffee or something along those lines. And then you also have the shooting star. And that makes me think of that old song, Honey, You Are My Shooting Star. Okay, um, so somebody here might be a shooting star. You're rising up in the entertainment world or somebody's rising up in the entertainment world or you saw a shooting star recently. Let's get another. Somebody has these shooting star earrings or kind of wears those funky earrings like um, Carla from Cheers. Remember, she always had those funky earrings if you're female. Well, if you're male too. Let's get, I just, they said get two more. Okay. Wow, so we have a bottle opener. <laughs> Maybe you have a bottle opener right now or you're working with, a, trying to open up a bottle or something here, bottle opener. <laughs> And then we have this um, salamander. Okay, that feels very much like Aries energy, but salamanders could be somebody or somewhere around where you live. They said get another one. Oh gosh, I have to say, for some of you, I just noticed this. This king of swords has a falcon perched on his arm. And we do have a bird here on a perch. So that could be, this could represent a falcon. They've been saying, pay, pay attention to this king of swords. Know this king of swords. This king of swords is an in intellectual leader. Everything is intellectual with him. <laughs> he's not very good with his emotions and committing emotionally, but he's very good with like intellectualizing, analyzing things. You know, he's thought provoking, strategic, like an analyst at times. Um, he's very self-sufficient and he's brutally honest. Even sometimes he could say things he doesn't mean to hurt, but he's just so observant and brutally honest, he or she. Okay, now we have a dolphin. Okay, so I don't know if somebody here is, you have dolphins around you or you saw dolphins, maybe you have dolphin tattoos. Um, dolphins are very loyal and they're, all, they're like the angels of the sea. Um, so this feels very much like, you know, a message to you that you have angels all around you. And if you have dolphins somewhere near you, or you see them, or you're watching a YouTube video, or you just saw, saw them, or you see them, that's, that's a very important message for some of you. I just heard the name Skipper. They said Skipper. <laughs> I just... They're like, get another one. You know, we can't do these charms all day, Spirit. Okay, so we've got an apple here. So for some of you, the big apple, New York, Manhattan, that might resonate for some of you. Or, you know, um, you're eating an apple. An apple a day keeps a doctor away. They just said that. So somebody might be a doctor or is connected to a physician. It doesn't matter. Some Someone who's... MD, PhD, whatever in the medical community, whatever it is, DO, whatever. It just feels like nutrition, health. This is a healthy reading. This is a healthy connection. That's how I feel. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you enjoyed that. And again, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Definitely check out the um, uh, link to get a personal reading. And please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, Virgo, see you later. Bye.